Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your Dow Jones setup for today. So, public holiday yesterday, and uh, you can see we went absolutely nowhere. Now, the one thing that does concern me with the Dow Jones is it is not really moving together with the S&P 500. So, this looks like a very, very bearish setup that is happening. But when you look at the S&P 500, you know it doesn't it doesn't carry the same message. So. I'll take this with a big pinch of salt. It does look like it is setting up for a move to the downside. And most of the time I would uh, be looking for opportunities to short this thing. But uh, we do have some fairly solid support here. As you can see, support there, resistance there. And this is now support. This is at 39.070. So my view here is I think we're just lagging a little bit. And we're probably going to form some structure and uh, catch up to the S&P in, in a couple of days. So nothing really more in the three hour. Uh, you can see, I think we just pull that level in there. That's fairly significant. That's uh, 39.136. And then just drop down to the hour. And uh, you'll see uh, Friday pretty much sideways. Yesterday being public holiday sideways. I'm not going to pay too much attention to the oscillators with uh, public holiday data here. But, um, you know, there's nothing here that indicates short or long at the moment. And uh, if you look at that on the 15 minutes, it kind of looks like we've got a crossover and we're starting to move to the upside. So I'm not entirely convinced either way, to be honest. I think um, I would rather wait for a break and retest of 39.136 before starting to look at this. Um, but I think I won't even bother looking at this. I'll just pay attention to the DAX and the S&P 500. There is much better structure and much better opportunities to make some money there than what we see here. So this for me is a sit on hands and uh, my attention is on the S&P 500 and the DAX. Um, hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning.